Hello, YouTubers, and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter, the master of hoppets. Today, joined by Plin, looking at another beer that Plin brought from a recent trip to Copenhagen and a visit to Himalayan. So, this, guys, is another beer from Green Bench Brewing uh, out of Florida, St. Petersburg. Really enjoyed their level up beers we had, and this is their Florida IPA Passion Fruit Edition. So, Florida IPA is an IPA, they do it's a series of IPAs apparently, with the, which is soured IPAs that are fruity. It says, Florida style IPA is sour, hazy, and oh so fruited. Hashtag, we invented this. <laughs> 6.7% uh, IPA with passion fruit, sour IPA with passion fruit. It's been a long time since I had like a sour IPA or farmhouse IPA, so it'll be fun to try one. Mm -hmm. Again. So that's hazy for sure. Yes, yeah, very hazy. It looks days. like a multi fruit juice. Yeah. Um, the head that was there was kind of nice, but it bubbled away like instantly almost. Yeah, but almost no nice. head, and what is left is white. Yes, and but bubbly. I think it's because it's a sour IPA, so <clears throat> that might be why. But let's check out the aroma. Whoa, wow. loads of sour passion fruit. Mm. It smells like passion fruit juice in a glass. There is some kind of juicy hoppy thing going too. It smells like real fruit, but also juicy hops. To me, at least. I'm getting like a... Oh. Maybe lychee and, 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 and no, almost sour apples, but yeah. not apples, uh, something similar. Oh, I can't remember. Crab apples, apples, maybe. Yeah, the maybe. small dansk, the the sour apple. Yeah, small party apple. Yeah, crab apples. Hmm. Crab apples, something like that. But I'm getting like some passion. There's even like stone fruit to me. Hmm. I wonder if they, they like they fermented a New England style IPA and soured it. That that'd be kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah, very tropical, and the sourness is like sour passion fruits with lactic sourness. It's not like funky mm. or anything. No, no, it's not funky. Quite juicy, man. It smells pretty nice. Let's give it a mm. taste. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Fuck, you can drink a lot of this. Mm. <laughs> wow. That is... And, yeah, and it, it, exactly like you said with the uh, passion fruit, yeah. the sourness just amplifies the passion fruit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like you took tartness, like passion fruit is sour already, but it's like the sourness mm. of the lacto, whatever, the sour mesh, I don't know how they do it. Mm. It's like it's amplifying the passion fruit like crazy. What even uh, the hot hey, table? Uh, pomegranate. Mm, yeah, yeah, I can actually kind of see that. Mm. And there's hot flavor too to it, mm. like. Um, I, because of the sourness, I can't really distinguish which hop, but it's like this super juicy New England-esque hop quality of like juicy stone fruit and lots of juicy tropical fruit, mm. like really like juicy passion fruit, multi-fruit juice kind of thing. And it's not like crazy sour. And then the aftertaste is like bitter, but really drying. Yeah. Like really, like not completely bone dry, but it really makes you go in for another sip. And then yeah. one thing I noticed what the mouthfeel is really good. Mm. Like chewy and silky, but then it dries out super mm. quickly. To me, this is uh, the best of the bunch uh, from Copenhagen. Uh, from Green Bench that we brought. Oh, from okay. Green yeah. Bench that it's I brought from Copenhagen. It's the best beer from Copenhagen. <laughs> <laughs> it is really good. Mm. It's, I don't know what it's reminding me of. It's reminding me of when you get a fruited IPA, mm. like from Tired Hands, for example. It's something like that, but then it's soured. Yeah. Something like, it's almost like a cross between an IPA and a Berliner Weisse or something well, like that. To me, it's just, more like juice, to be honest, because, yeah. because you get that sound as you're getting juice. And the fruit, uh, the, the passion fruit. It's, 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 there's almost no bitterness, this is, but it's sour uh, yeah. and it's um, juicy. It's, it's yeah. almost 7% and I'm just drinking it like, mm. and the, the, the juicy, uh, like sourness, the sourness is not so intense that you can't drink it no. like fast, <laughs> you can say it like that. The sourness is quite perfectly balanced because if it got much more sour I think it would be really hard to drink it yeah. like it'd be like sours are really nice but when they're really sour you sip on them more than actually just slug mm. on them this is like slugger sour. yeah yeah so uh, rating wise I'll go as high as 96 I'll say 94 okay but it's really nice mm. it is really nice I really love that combo I it, and it really works. There was a big thing with Farmhouse IPAs a while back. It's almost like taking that, but then adding the New England vibe. And I dig this. Mm -hmm. I dig this. Guys, definitely check out some of the Florida IPAs by Green Bench. This is really tasty stuff. This is a good... This was the only one they had, wasn't it? I think so. Yeah, I think because on the board it only said yeah. Florida IPA. It didn't even say, yeah. say which variant it was, but it was the passion fruit. 
Mm. Will be really fun to see what other fruited variations on this they do. This this could like this has almost like the milkshake series potential to me from Tired Hands, which is Omnipol Omnipol and Tired Hands, where they do all these fruited IPAs with lactose and things that are New England kind of esque. It's 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 in the ballpark of something like that. To me, just sour almost. But this is fucking good. Yeah. Yeah. If you had a chance to try any of the uh, Florida IPAs by Green Bench, let us know what you thought of them and what's your favorite. Really fun to try some Florida beer. It's been a while uh, since I tried some. So great stuff, guys. Let us know. And as always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And we're going to say cheers to some delicious passion fruit sour mm. IPA. And see you guys in another beer review.